Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 65-year-old male with complaints of bilateral knee pain. This is his left knee, and his right knee had some really severe arthritic changes in the medial knee joint. And this is his left knee, the opposite knee, and we have similar findings here. We have the medial knee joint has lots of joint space narrowing. There's a little erosion of the bone here. This is the tibia. The femur is the big bone up top. The tibia is down below, and again along the margin here we see this darkness, which is a bone erosion. And you may also notice one other funny looking thing over here. This is a big area of gray signal, intermediate signal intensity on the sequence. Fat beneath the skin here is bright. Fat within the marrow space is bright. And fluid is intermediate. And this is a fluid collection. It could be Snowville inflammation or fluid. But let's put up another view to look at this better. The lateral side here is looking pretty good. Now on this view we see that this is fluid. It's very bright and uh, assist along the medial joint line. There's a couple things can do that. One of them is a parameniscal cyst. When people tear their menisci, sometimes the tear can go to the edge of the meniscus and the fluid within the tear can weep out and form a cyst. So this is what this is. This is a parameniscal cyst coming out of a torn medial meniscus. This little black wedge here is a piece of the medial meniscus. It's very small and uh, um, not very well defined. They've had a partial metastectomy in the past. That's why it's so small, but there's a new tear here, and the tear is allowing fluid right there to weep out and fill over here along the area of least resistance along the medial joint line. Fluid goes up, fluid comes down, and it pushes on this medial collateral ligament, the medial stabilizer. This is the lateral knee joint that looks great. You see that little black wedge is the lateral meniscus, nicely separating the femur from the tibia. And then the medial side looks terrible. They got complete loss of joint spacing. This meniscus is very small, has a complex tear, and a large medial um, uh, parameniscal cyst. And that's it. I'll put up one more view here to see this from a different angle. This is one where we're going from the top, the kneecap. We're going to go down, down, down. We should see it over here eventually. And there it is a big medial parameniscal cyst associated with a meniscus tear. Thank you very much.